All right, this is the uh, DIY uh, fish filter known as the Ponish filter. I am its creator, like it or not. All right, um, as you can see here, it pretty much uses the uh, um, only two real videos uh, on YouTube um, designs. It uses the um, bubbler and, and um, what the what is it? It's like a bubbler and uh, aquarium roll type that uses the bubbler as a form of filtration, and it also uses the one um, that uses the um, fountain pump design. Because right down there is the pump. But what makes this thing um, different than um, both is actually the pump. The pump that I used right there, and you're wondering what the heck is that, is actually um, aquarium filter pump. Um, well, I have a big tank over here. I'll zoom over here and show it to you. It's actually that one. This is actually a fully functional one on our big community tank. And what you actually have to do to make this thing work is if you saw in the follow-up video uh, um, info is you actually have to turn it on its side because this pump is actually a siphon pump and you have to turn it on its side and make it into a turbine. And it's kind of tricky about um, how you go about doing that because there's one direction over here on this flat side with this big notch. Uh, you can see it right there. On the flat side, that's um, the output end. This end, though how convenient it would be to put an output there, is actually another positive. So you would basically have a positive here and a positive here, and you don't want that because it doesn't do anything. And you know, good rule of thumb: if it does, if don't put on this bigger part with this uh, bump here. And um, this is just an old, somewhat broken down um, fish pump. This part was split, so I had to remove it and I just had it sitting there and so I made this because as you can see no filter is going to fit in there and um, pretty much how it works is a siphon is created it comes um, from this little pipe goes up goes in here and you can see the little water coming out of there and then it goes much like um, the bubbler uh, filter, so kind of in reverse. Um, into the rocks, and there's ammonia moving. Um, uh, I mean, uh, ammonia removing rocks mixed in with uh, these gravel, and then there's the aquarium roll wool. And uh, inside there, I can't really see it, but there's a uh, carbon filter also from a um, conventional filter. So, and you can see something got caught up in there for a second. And um, all that's really in there is a piece of this clear tubing with a little end on it like that. You know, kind of like a traditional filter is inside there that um, all the uh, aquarium wool and the carbon filter are sitting on that runs the whole length of the bottle. What I used to attach the bottle to this is I um, used a little bit of Dollar Tree epoxy. For some reason that stuff works amazing for stuff like this. And I just poked a hole through the bottle using a soldering gun. And I did the same for up here the same kind of glue and it works pretty good and also same kind of glue is used here along with this little zip tie but um, the big thing is when if you're gonna try to do this is this thing right here 
this when you actually pull it out and it's kind of hard to pull out basically when you pull it out all you're going to see is like a little black PVC tube with two holes in it and you actually have to cover this up with um, a uh, piece of uh, PVC pipe to actually direct the flow that way remember not the big way not with this big thing a little thingy on the end but that way and it's also got a strangely I don't know why because I don't understand the whole principles of turbines maybe somebody out there does but it's also got a face towards the left so you can't have it flipped going this way and still have everything right because it will not work I do not know why but it will not work so this has got to go towards the left it's got to be on the right side and yeah the uh, Tetris are fighting <laughs> that's what they do and um, basically that's it one of the biggest things that you have to do is when you get this thing off there's a um, gasket in there what I actually used is I couldn't find a piece of PVC that's actually the right size of a little plastic thing in here I don't know if you can see the ridge but it's about that size and I actually use the, I guess, the containment for the gasket and for to put the PVC and slide it on. And I actually had to remove the gasket. And I actually, when I removed the gasket, I actually used it again. And when I slid the piece of uh, PVC pipe on and glued it, crap out of it with PVC glue. Do not use epoxy, do not use crazy glue, this is a high pressure environment here. You got to use PVC glue with the smelly purple iodine crap. I don't know why, but you do. And basically what I did was, after I glued it, I did not glue the front yet. I actually took the um, gasket and I stuffed it around between the, you know, the actual plastic thing with the two holes on each side and the PVC pipe with a screwdriver. And then I put the little insert on, because if you're familiar with um, fish tanks, you know, this comes off for cleaning. Well, I can't come off for cleaning, because it's going to leak like a sieve. And um, I basically um, glued the little part that has the turbine blades attached to it. Not the actual turbine blades, I didn't glue those, heavens no. But um, I glued the... Um, um, the little, I guess you would call it black plastic insert in there to the tube and the PVC and I just used a whole crap load there. Now, one thing I also encountered is the output tube here. I used a little threaded piece um, from an air pump that was threaded, it's threaded on both sides. I just kind of drilled a hole before I put the uh, PVC pipe in into the PVC pipe and then threaded it in to see if it worked and then I assembled it later and one of the things I found out was PVC glue will not stick to this kind of pipe don't know why don't want to know why and but crazy glue will so crazy glue will stick to the end of this pipe and also stick to the PVC insert thingy so that's what I ended up doing and it worked quite well and I used a little zip tie in there too and everything works I mean the filter is incredibly efficient um, this tank for example went from being um, algae horrible mess that the algae eater that we had in there that for some reason not a pleco it was one of the weird ones with a funny looking nose he couldn't handle so much, and I think he ate himself to death. I, I, I don't know what happened to him. But, um, he was dead. <laughs> but that's a, that was way before uh, we put this filter in, and that's kind of the inspiration for me building this filter, because it's like, okay, it's killing animals. And it was horrid, because I can clean this tank, but I can't clean it that well, because I can't clean the sides, because what this tank actually is, folks on YouTube, is an 1880s water glass. Thing. 
it's actually really, really cool because if you look at it, there's like a the glass is like kind of molten, you know, because the physics of glass is actually not a um, uh, solid; it's a uh, liquid, so it's kind of like moved, and everything's not exactly straight anymore because how old it is. And it, trust me, I checked it. It does not have radium in it. That was one of the first things I checked. But uh, anyway. Um, it was horrible, and that's what this filter does. It does a quite good job uh, filtering it, as you can see. I don't know if you can see the actual particles going down in there, but the basic stages are there. And one thing I like to call right down in here, um, there is a... I guess you would call settling spot or freshwater spot. That's what I called it, freshwater spot. And that allows all the filtrated water that you can see, because I kind of like using this clear pipe, because you can see how clear it is, um, to actually settle down in here and um, get pumped to the filter. And, like, what's really neat is... Um, this uh, speed meet, um, speed adjustment actually does work. It doesn't do a heck of a lot. I mean, I kind of just use it to fine-tune it. It doesn't really work all that well. And the only thing for really setting it up that you, uh, if you want to try this, number one, it is not um, an easy thing to do. This is if you have tried everything else and the bubbler thing doesn't work for your tank or it's too big or you can't get it to work and you don't know really what to do um, use this but the thing of setting it up is all you really have to do is start a siphon on this output hose and um, just get the water to be lamina through here and start coming down I and mean, just really quick throw it in the tank and you know of course have it on and uh, it will work but one thing you really have to get um, to work is definitely no leaks and it will take you a long 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 time to do that and I wouldn't recommend hooking up to your fish tank the first time because I know it's going to have leaks so what I would do is first set this thing up with no rocks in it none and put it in like your sink and fill it up full of water turn the pump on take it out put some paper towels underneath it see if it leaks if it leaks drain all the water out guess what you're working on it again and uh that's pretty much it i mean uh shoot me with a comment if you want to know how to do it um i'm not doing step by step i know one video said that i'm not doing step by step you have to come up with this on your own you know, I did think ahead here and didn't do an instructable. And I'm sorry for that, but I didn't. So, if you want to uh, try to do this, you know, come up with your own. I gave you the idea, you know. You can just look at this and invent your own thing. You know, it's really easy to do this part. You just punch a hole with the soldering gun and then glue the crap out of it with whatever epoxy you want to. And, you know, the output's here, and the um, aquarium wool. And, um, yeah, I mean, if you want to use a pump like this, um, one of the things I do recommend, though, is before you even start this project, just take the pump out of the original filter. Um, I think I said in the, in the um, comments on the... Uh, um, other video of this is you gotta do the tape method and tape it real quick and um, tape this part don't even consider putting PVC pipe on this yet um, but tape it around with like electrical tape get the pump to work somehow get water in this tube do not connect it to this yet unless you want to it'll just be a big pain in the butt and it might actually not be right so don't connect it to this don't connect it to this yet and uh, somehow get water into here and run the pump and just tape around in here so it's sealed because you're basically making like a temporary fake not very structurally and integrative uh, 
PVC pipe and you basically poke a hole on one side see if the water comes out of this side if it doesn't then I probably guess it won't then um, retape it and do the experiment over again and poke a hole on that side if water comes out that side really really fast um, then you use that side and you have to mark it somehow and also mark that this is the top because if you flip it upside down strangely it doesn't want to work found that out it was annoying put the whole thing together and then figured out that I put this part upside down and didn't know that and it didn't want to work and um, so that's basically all you gotta do you just gotta assemble it like that um, the rocks and stuff you can get from Walmart or wherever or Petco and the ammonia removing rocks the little orange ones you can get on Amazon for a dollar they're great for big tanks like this this is also another tank video there's Gus um, but um, you just put the normal rocks if you think I'm just putting your ammonia problem in a big tank and the filter they come in a little baggy and they work just fine and um, that's pretty much it you want to try to build this thing just uh, remember you have to be a little bit of a chemist with this and um, know what you're doing because glue that works here shall not work here and I you wonder why the heck YouTube guy why wouldn't I use epoxy here well because I tried to do this before with the same exact piece of PVC pipe and I let it dry for a day and um, it um, exploded when I ran it. So PVC glue is the only stuff that actually works here and you have to PVC glue the crap out of it. And that's also the reason why it's painted because it was like orange and disgusting. And you have to PVC glue back here and up here and um, stuff. So, um, you know, definitely if you want to try this, try this. Um, you have to invent your own way. Please don't do this if you have no mechanical skills and if you're an 85 gram year old grandma sitting in uh, her uh, little crappy computer room watching this and you want to, you know, whip out your knitting needle and do this. Don't do this. This is for someone who actually knows what the heck they're doing or has done more mechanical things before. Um, please don't you know, hate me that I'm not giving you instructions because that's one thing I saw on YouTube. They were terrifying this little guy that would made this video on this one fish filter asking all these stupid questions. I'm not going to answer your stu stupid questions, okay? You know, you're just going to be mean and put stupid questions. Don't do that. But, um... Try this thing. If you want to try it, try it. Um, hit me with some uh, emails and some comments. Anything you have problems with, I'll help you. I'm just not going to um, give you step by step. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, YouTube, um, party on.